Keith West Indian Supermarket. I'd like to say a special thank you to Miss Tita B. Daisy for sponsoring all of the items that you've been seeing me using. Now they have locations in Lauder Hill, in Orlando, Canada and New York. So I'll leave their website down below in the description box so you want to make sure and check them out. And they have a lot of items from the Caribbean. So whenever I need something and I call Miss B. Daisy, she always has everything. And if she doesn't have it, she'll source it for you. So thank you Miss Tita B. Daisy for sponsoring this episode. Hi guys, in today's episode, I'm going to share with you all how to make chenna chow or ginip chow. What are the other names that you call this? If you live in a country that you call it a different name, please let me know down below. So to make this, I'm going to start by taking the chenna and it has a soft to medium hard shell. It's not too hard, so you can cut it open like this. And once you cut it open, all you have to do is squeeze it into a bowl. Now the majority of it is, it is a big seed and there's a little bit of flesh on the outside so you'll always always need to buy extra chana just to get enough. So next add salt to taste then go in with some black pepper. I, add, I like adding a little ketchup to any time I make chow. Some bandania and hot pepper the hot pepper is optional you'll want to mix it now if it's not spicy enough for you I also like going in with some Bertie's pepper sauce I really like the flavor that it gives it and you just mix that in adjust your salt and then your chow is ready to be served so I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe on how I make chana chow if you did leave your comments to me down below thank you for watching please remember to like and share the video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!